Welcome back to the channel. Here we are at Pembroke Country Club in Pembroke, Massachusetts. We're playing the front nine off the white tees today. Start with a good drive up the center there. Kind of high and spinny, but we're going back into the wind here, so I didn't get much out of it. And the three wood, I had 255, so I'm not getting home. Um, leaves me about 30 yards, kind of pitch up the green here with my 56. And I kind of chunked that. So we're not happy with that, but it did land on the front and pitch to the middle. But I still have about 30 feet, 35 feet up the slope to that very far back pin for birdie and this was a good lag putt about a foot and a half maybe two feet past and I almost missed that putt but we make a par so good start second hole par four only about 320 325 start my three wood on the tree line trying to draw it but it hangs out there clips a tree and we wind up as you'll see here in a second basically behind a tree thought I'd be stymied but I found a, a little opening there hit my 52 about a hundred yard shot and I was able to find kind of the back edge, the back fringe. So we got about 35, 40 feet here. I played out to the right because it looked like it had to break back left, but it just hung out there. So I had about six, seven feet to go for my par putt. And you'll see I burned the edge here. So we're going to tap in for a bogey here on the second. Third hole, we have a two iron from about 220. So we're playing actually the blue tee here. If I were to play white, it'd be about 140 yards, which should normally be 180 yards. So I wasn't going to play it short. So had to hit a hard two iron there and kind of blocked it out right. But we're not in terrible position here. Just got to flop over the bunker. Thought this would be really good. Just kind of got hung up in some of the rough short of the green. And I opted to actually putt that because it was kind of sketchy to, to chip it. Kind of a weird area where the rough hasn't really grown in yet. And I nearly made it. Nearly Kevin nod that and walked it in. But we settle for a bogey there. Absolutely roasted the driver here on the par four. Um, fourth, 440 yards playing uphill and into the wind. But I only got about 250 yards out of it. So now we're hitting four iron from about 187. Playing that more like 200, 210. And I block it a little bit right into the green side bunker. And here we are just splashing it out with the 56. And it does run out a little bit, so it's not terrible. Um, I was hoping I'd do better, but... Not overall not that bad. So we have a look at par. Thought I saw some right to left in this, but it just hung out right. Didn't really move. So I'm just making some bad reads here. Not necessarily bad putts, but just a bad read. So we'll settle for another bogey. Driver here on the fifth. Just have to go over that water. It's probably about a 220 carry. I didn't hit this all that great, but still still made it. No big deal. Um, only 125. I'm hitting a nine iron, believe it or not. This was uphill. Felt like it was back into the wind. Felt like the ball wasn't going anywhere, so I took an extra club, and here I am, a full club behind the hole. So maybe pitching wedge was the right club. So here we are for birdie, 35, 40 feet. You can see this keeps kind of trickling out to the right, and I went up with about five, six feet to go for my par. And you'll see if we get it here in a second, and nope, I burn the edge again. And we settle for yet another bogey here. The six is a par four, 346, not a driver hole, normally a long iron and a wedge. I was driving the ball well, felt like I could kind of put it up there near the green, and this is why you don't hit driver, put it in the trees. Punching out with an eight iron, I thought that was actually going to run up to the green, but it gets hung up on the slope. So you'll see we have 15 yards or so to go, just hit my 56. Didn't hit a great shot here, but not a really bad one either, it actually chased out a little bit. Um, but I still had about 10 feet. and have a decent look at it and this looked good and just slid right once again I'm just not reading these greens very well I'd say that was a pretty good putt but we do settle for yet another bogey parse three seventh only 125 we were kind of playing up a tee because the back tee was closed so I choked down on a pitching wedge and that was too much it was a back pin so here I am behind the green coming back up and I blade a 60 up the green just not going well for me today now I'm trying to make a par putt from about 30 feet, and I pulled out a little off the line, or misread it, and we'll settle for yet another bogey. So the bogey train is alive and well. Eighth hole, 420, par 4, down the hill, kind of popped up this drive. Um, I do miss the approach shot, uh, the filming of it. I did hit a 6 iron, I think from about 175. So you're going to see me green side here, that's the result. I'm putting out of this kind of rough fringe area. Didn't like that, kind of jumped on me. Um, went about six or seven feet past. So you'll see I have that coming back for par here in a second. And unlike many times, I actually made this putt. Kind of a sarcastic 
<laughs> wave at the ball. It's a ninth hole, par four, 341, short one up the hill. Hit a good drive here. This leaves me only about 75, 80 yards. So this is right in striking distance. Got my 56 degree, choking down on it, three quarter shot. And I just chunk it, lay the sod over it. No shot tracer on that one. The ball only went 40 yards. And uh, we got about 35 yards left. We get to try it again. And this one I thought was pretty good, but this kind of chased through, you see, here in a second. I'm in that fringe area behind, kind of rough and fringe, and I'm doing something funny with my finger there, trying to tell it to slow down. I guess I was losing my mind out there a little bit. But anyway, we will tap in here on the ninth for a bogey. Not a pretty round at all. Not a pretty round. Uh, so when we go to add this all up, it comes up to a 42. That's the only good news. It's par 35. I thought it'd be right in a 43. So seven bogeys, two pars, um, two out of nine greens in regulation, 16 putts. So from a bad round like this, you just got to remember, you got to figure out what went wrong. And I know it's my putting. It's my short game. I saw glimpses of it um, early on, but kind of lost it at Old Scotland. And I need to put that time in. I definitely got to put that time in. And next week, this is uh, Kingston, Indian Pond, home of the infamous $5 million lawsuit that house on the corner, the inside corner of the dog leg, par uh, for 14th. We'll actually be playing there in a Stableford format tournament, uh, one of the MGA member days. And uh, they'll actually make that hole into a par three for the competition. So uh, please subscribe, please like, and we'll have a great uh, tournament for you next week. Thanks, everyone.